Uh, hey everyone, welcome to a Goodie Reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. This is the Asus ZenPad 10 Z30MF. So this is the newest one that came out around like September 2017. It's a tablet, so very, very, very reflective. You'll see um, it's unavoidable. Apologize about that. It's uh, blacked out. Speakers up top here on the speaker bar, front facing camera, rear facing camera. The back is this very nice fabric-y, metallic combination. It's really cool. It leaves literally no fingerprints. Super high grip. Mirror finish Asus or Asus logo. Uh, three, uh, not Sorry, the uh, micro USB. 3.5 mil headphone jack with a USB-C on the side. Volume up and down. Power button on the top. And you have a very nice chrome exterior bezel around the black of the bezel. All right, let's take a look at some specs here. It's a full 10.1 inch screen, 1920 by 1200 is the resolution. It's about 245 PPI. It has a 1.5 gigahertz uh, processor. It has um, cameras, as Peter mentioned, uh, front facing uh, two megapixel, rear facing five megapixel, uh, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage. Via the SD card, you can enhance it up to uh, over 128 gigs. It has Android 7.0, so it's not running O yet, but who knows if it will in the near future. But the price is right. I mean, this is a, a like a $220 tablet, so it's pretty affordable for a 10-inch tablet. You'll see that you have um, a little bit of a different Android experience. This is the Zen UI. Everything's kind of circular from the top down. You have everything at the top if you swipe down, multiple pages of apps, and if you click the center, you can go through the setup process and look at your full list of apps there. And if you click over here, you get your widgets. One of the cool things that Asus brings to the table is, depending on the device, you'll get a dedicated folder of applications based on if you have a tablet or a phone or a two-in-one, etc. You'll have different preloaded applications. You have something called touch gesture, which you can write different letters like W for weather to turn on the weather app, or C for camera to turn on the camera app. So that's really cool when it comes to quick launching your stuff when you have a dark screen. PDF experience, it's just basically in our internal memory in the documents folder. Uh, you can just do things like pinch and zoom. This is a find... great PDF. Yeah, so you could search for text in the PDF. Uh, you can highlight text and stuff. You can send it to like Google Drive or, you know, if you have Dropbox or Box installed, Google Drive is just like the default like option here. Couple so options here, send file, open up. There's the drive option. Takes you through some prompts. You can save that right there. Search in book, any sort of terms, it'll find it if it's highlighted in text. Yeah, so it's pretty, you know, obviously, this is just the stock PDF thing. You can install like Adobe PDF or Fox it or whatever is the default PDF viewer that you like for Android. But this is just what it's like, like out of the box. And it's, it's responsive. It's not too bad. The colors are pretty good, etc. So this being a tablet, you have a lot of screen real estate because most tablets are fairly large. This one is the Amazon Kindle app so you get all the same functionality you get long presses that you can go into different colored highlights notes search share copy and of course translate we'll look at note really quick you do have the Android standard keyboard in which you do have swipe as well so you can use that feature instead of typing away if you click the middle it goes into this panel mode where you can select a page from there you click the double a button and you get all of the Amazon font um, choices you get text size the brightness level of the book color font margins you see you have bookerly yeah I mean this is obviously the you know most current Amazon app so you do have like a lot of options here that you aren't seeing on the Kindle you know with like the, with this view and stuff sure. you don't really see that with the Kindle because it's just of the limitations of the e-paper in general this is the Comixology app. You'll see we're in guided view, which means as you swipe, it's going to go panel by panel. Whether this is in landscape or portrait, you're going to see this kind of screen. So 
you'll have to find the cell that most fits the way you've orientated the device. For example, if you choose this one, you have a lot of black borders, obviously because it's in landscape, but if you choose something like this, it ends up looking really good. You do have the ability to pinch and zoom at any point in time, double tap to kind of go out in, in and out of guided view. As you turn pages, you'll see it's very quick, very responsive. It immediately renders. There's no kind of pixelation or anything. It's a really good overall experience for reading on, for reading comics and graphic novels. Mm -hmm. Wow, uh, that's a very good um, audio experience. You do have the front facing speakers on the speaker bar up above here. So you get both the video and the audio coming straight at you. And the video was very fluid, didn't lag, and it was uh, very high quality. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had the volume max. The speakers weren't really that loud. Um, it's not enough to like envelop a room no. uh, like a dedicated like speaker no, like the Alexa be. or with like the iPad that has speakers here yeah and then speakers here so they they, they you know you have four speakers whereas yeah. this really only has like two and the speakers are pretty small yeah. so I think this tablet has something for everyone so check it out uh, we'll have a, like a link where you can purchase this uh, from Amazon or where you can find out more specs and everything like that for goodybeater.com my name is Michael and this is Peter everybody take care